Hello, I'm Jacqueline Battle. Proverbs 12.25 tells us, Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. Proverbs 12.25, Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. It's my heart's desire, my intent, for everything that I do to inspire hope. Join me Mondays, 6 p.m. Central, on the platform of Women in Ministry TV, as well as on my YouTube, as I remind those who have lost hope that we have our answer. Answers may come in various forms. And sometimes we have to understand them and rearrange our perspective to see things differently. But it doesn't mean that we don't have our answer. I talk of an experience that I had recently when I was so sure that I didn't have any orange juice to provide for my, my grandchildren who were desiring orange juice. They made it clear to me that because I had oranges and I had a juicer, I did have orange juice. You see, I was looking for the answer in a specific way, in a specific form, something that I was accustomed to. And actually, the provision was there all along. Paul sought the Lord to, to remove from him a thorn, a messenger from Satan that had been sent to torture him. And he asked three times that God would just remove it. God said to him, not that he hadn't answered his prayer, but that he had answered in the form of his grace. He said, my grace is sufficient. Where where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. So any identity that takes us out of godliness, out of our godly perspective of ourself and ourselves in Christ Jesus, that's sin. And where sin abounds, any identity that, that takes us out of our godly identity, any perspective that takes us or removes our godly identity is sin. And where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. Grace is an empowerment. It's a most powerful answer. We're told in Hebrews 4.16 that there is a grace for every need that we might have. We have but to boldly come before the throne of grace. So you see, Paul was praying for the the thorn, the issue that was torturing him to be completely removed. God gave him grace to overcome it. Had he removed it, Paul would still be subject to that same torture should it come back. But with grace, he could overcome it. And no matter what happened in the future, he would be delivered from that messenger from Satan. Grace is an empowerment. It's a form of answer to our prayers. The word of God teaches us how to use it. The book of Titus in chapter 2, verse 11 and 12 tells us it's an empowerment. It's a teacher. It will teach us to deny worldly lust and ungodliness and to live godly in our godly identity and righteously. You have the answer. Join me Mondays, 6 p.m. Central on the platform of Women in Ministry TV, live on Facebook, as well as on my YouTube channel, as I continue to inspire hope and remind you of how you do have your answer. I'm Jacqueline Battle, reminding you that God loves you. And I'm praying for you.